We haven't reacted to Markiplier in um, several months. I mean, it's been a long ass like, time. Maybe even a year. But it's about time we get back into some Merc Blur. That's not true. The last one that we did the Korean was that massage. One. I was thinking it was either the massage one or the um uh shit. What's it called when you jump off of? Oh, parkour. Parkour. That's one of them. I was thinking like pyro. Is that that's fire? That yeah. That's not the same. Thing. No, it's not parkour. Whenever parkour and pyro are combined, it pyro is either core. it is either majestic and badass or just really really bad no. i'm thinking of keith from rosh's gemstones where he like doing his yeah. thing yeah if you guys haven't watched that you have you have to it's, yeah it's rogers gemstones good stuff um but markiplier has a, a animated short out on his channel called i stole a condom i mean okay. and when i saw this i was like I'm we gotta react that to this it's video, like man. A situation where you don't have one, and you need one, and your friend might have one, so you go and take theirs. Is that uh, you know? I don't know. I think this is more of a heist. Um, Literally, more just of a, steal them from the store. Yeah, more of a. I'm gonna get this uh, this old raincoat, and I, I'm gonna take it right on home with me. That's what I think's happening here. Right. Or maybe by accident. You know how? Ah. Whoop, whoop. Maybe it's one of those situations where, you know, you'd be walking through the store with your little, your little gimmick, your basket, and bump into the, the rack, and maybe they just slide in there, and you don't even know. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. And you just walk out with the basket. So you meant to steal everything else. And then you your just girlfriend's didn't mean like, to steal um, the condom. Um. Well, I was about to. <laughs> Where did okay. these Plan B pee pills come about from? I was to say, why do you need these? But that's what I was getting to. So maybe we'll cut that. All right. What? Nikki? Yep. Are you talking about the raw dog in uh -huh. Here we go. Raw diggity dog. Here we go. Yes. So uh, this is back at my first job. My first job was at Kroger. Hey. Yeah, I worked as a non-food stocking clerk, which means I'm in charge of everything that was not food. And so one of my responsibilities, in addition to stocking the non-food shelves, was to take a shopping cart and go around every aisle and pick off things that people leave behind. So people will leave like random things in odd places, mm. and I'm supposed to go grab them, put them <laughs> in a cart, push them to the back so they can be resorted later. Mm. Um, a few weeks into my first job doing this particular part of my job, I noticed something behind the baby food. I like scooted it aside and I saw a box of condoms. But the problem with this one is it was torn open, right? Someone had oh, uh, ripped open a box, no. stolen out some condoms. Don't know why, just happens. But the first time I had ever seen something like that. And so me being a 15 year old, I go, mm. what? <laughs> co 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 condoms? Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Like I was actually like flustered at even the thought <laughs> of someone seeing me like even Touch handling them. this box yeah. of condoms, but I put it in the sure. cart and I started pushing the cart around. And I was like, and I didn't have a girlfriend or anything at the time. So it was like, there was no urgent need for this. But for some reason in my mind, I went, maybe if I had some condoms, maybe I might be able to have sex someday. I'd be ready for it at least. As I'm pushing my cart through the aisles, I start slowing down physically like purpose. the cart because I'm thinking like, okay, it's in that it's in like where, you know, you, you scoot out the baby thing and it's like, you'd sit a toddler in there. So it's at the top part of that. And I had positioned it very carefully for there so that as I'm pushing ironic. the cart, I could slowly move my hand like off of the grip and down and try to grab a condom out of it. And I'd be like, I'll just pocket one. And then, oh and then I'll my have God. one. And then I will have the condom power. I didn't realize <laughs> condom power. I didn't realize that. Uh, you know, I thought all the ladies would be like, whoa, you have a condom? Holy crap. Oh, yes, I want you. <laughs> now that looks like the kind of guy that has a condom. Hey, in it's his me. <laughs> I didn't know you were a man. <laughs> uh, so, 
So so I, I reach into the box eventually after moving to a snail's place because I knew they had cameras and they you know they want I, I felt like every camera was gonna look at me as soon as I started making my move so I had to move very slowly and I reach in and I'm like I'll just pull out one and then I ran into the first problem which oh, condoms no, are they, in a roll yeah. yes. perforated string and I couldn't do this one handed especially considering it's a small box and I'm trying to like stick my hand in there's not enough room so I'm like I'm panicking I'm like sweating so uh, I, I I bail I bail I stick I, I remove my hand from it I'm like there's no way I can do this I can't it's not here amongst the green beans no way I couldn't <laughs> and I, uh, I I pushed the cart around and then eventually I made it back to you know the place if you you probably have seen it in grocery stores where there's just a random cart with a bunch of bullshit in it by the yeah. back door that's where I would put it because then they would take it back and they would store it so so <laughs> Don't laugh like that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but then I have like this surge of adrenaline. I'm mad because I, I like lost my quote unquote chance. If the oh, camera saw me, fuck. it would look like I was a cryptid because I was standing there at that shelf of like discount items, just like fuming. like. <laughs> and then in a flurry of motion, I like reach my hand and rip off one as fast as I can and then shove it in my pocket. And I just stomped away. I stopped oh, and I sat God. at the makeup counter and I just stood there and I sat there I didn't. and I didn't finish the job I was doing. I didn't finish collecting all the shit. I didn't stock any shelf and I just sat there for like 30 minutes as my heart was like, oh, oh, I did it. I went down a rabbit hole in my own mind of imagining ways you'd get out of that. Mm -hmm. Like he walked up and you were just like, I'm oh, just counting them to see how many were stolen. <laughs> several, several are missing. That's smart. Or like you know, the manager comes up behind you and it's like, hey, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, you put your left hand in and you put your left hand out. Like, I was just using this box to play this game. Yeah. What are you doing? Here's the little balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is a doggy. We've Look, all it's done a snake. That. We've all done that. What are you doing? I have recreated how the thief did it. He put his hand in the box and then took the condoms out. We should give this information to the police. I'm glad you're here. You're just in time. So uh, that's wow. how I got my first condom. That trust me, they went unused. We need to react some more. Of those Chris. No, actions. we don't. Yeah. No. Maybe me and Jake and Nino can. Do yeah. It. Who knows? Anywho, how in God's name could you find an open box of condoms and still go through with being like, hmm, I'll take one also. When people open those things up to tamper with those more than anything I didn't think else. About it that way. I knew people who had specifically taken needles and poked them through the packages of that's condom wrappers. Horrible. Why would yeah, you do that? Why just would to you do fuck that? with other people's lives. That, like, I, I just don't understand that humor. I don't understand Maybe. that, like, I'm gonna, I don't know. That's just so bizarre to me. Yeah, it's wild. Like, taking people's choices away from them under any circumstance is not funny to me. Oh, I, I don't think it's funny. Yeah, I'm I don't agree with it, it at all. Yeah. It's just, it's just weird. So my brain doesn't think like, oh shit, that's been tampered with. I know lots of people that have done just horrible shit. Yeah. Just for a, a gag. Dude, I mean, there were people going around uh, right during the pandemic and spitting an ice cream at Kroger as a viral trend because when you open them up, they were just open. They didn't have a cover over those ice creams. Remember, I got one and took it back because yeah. I was like, "Fuck this! I yeah. ain't even, if it don't have a tamper seal on it, I'm not, I'm not doing it." Uh, but yeah, dude. So like, no, no. Mm -hmm. Um, were condoms a big deal ever when you were in high school? Anybody been like, ha ha ha? No, I mean like you know like we had them and we we put them on people's like. Mufflers, mm. like their exhaust pod, not mufflers, exhaust pod. So like, you know, whenever they turn their car on, it was, you know, just stupid shit like that. But like, it wasn't ever. And I especially don't know any girls who were like, he has condoms. Did you hear? So like, you can go ahead and just sign him up. You there know? was. Um... It's not like an automatic enrollment to have sex no there was 
a time where my I was there. I didn't do it, but I watched some friends do it. And I do not condone this behavior for anybody else to try. We were dumb as shit. And I shouldn't have even been standing there laughing Morning. at them when they were doing it. But they were putting it over their heads. Oh. And blowing saw, it up with their noses. I saw a video like that. And it would yeah. explode. That's so And it's like, if that That's air so goes back your... into your... Oh, that can yeah. fuck up... Like, that can yeah. fuck up your whole shit. I knew someone who who filled one up with water. Now... <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I know you know who I'm talking about. They once told me that it was a balloon. And I, do not do this. But then this I got a little not... older, and then I found out that it was a condom. Um... So that kind of gives away. It's an older person. <laughs> they filled it up with water and it was huge. Humongous. Huge. Huge. Okay. To the point where it just wouldn't hold any more water. Mm -hmm. And this person like worked out. They they were pretty strong and they had trouble maintaining this. Yes. <laughs> Our, our, our animals our are animals. doing battle right now. The do not are... do this. I'm not advising anyone to do this. This is not smart. Don't do this. But it is funny. But don't do it. And so they went, I don't know how, but they went on top of the, the high school building. Mm -hmm. and so they, they were saw, on the roof of the high school. They were on the roof of the high school. They saw people that they knew below. And they like tipped it over. And they said it was so big that they couldn't just pick it up. They had to just let it roll from their fingertips. Dude, and just imagine. had it hit them in the head, probably would have just, you know. But it didn't, <laughs> thank God. And it went right in front of their face. It hit the ground and burst the water all back up over top of them. See... The, the condom is meant to prevent the people from having the mess all yeah, over Yeah, well, that didn't happen that day. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah. There was, um, there was a guy that I knew when I was like 13, 12 or 13. He was like... Is this what I'm thinking? Uh, no. Okay. He was like, pulled out his wallet, you know, this redneck guy. And he was like... He pulled it out. Trying to get money for like a vault soda or something. You yeah, know? vault sodas were. They so were pretty good, good. Um, but you could see like in the little middle area of his wallet where there was like a little pocket that there was a condom wrapper sticking out, and he was like, "I always keep one of these bad boys on," <laughs> you know. And me and my friends were just like, "Cool," you know. We all need to be because you just never know. We're like twelve and thirteen. Yeah. So we just, just you know, prepared. you just got to be prepared. It, you know, it would be cool then. Those women are just going like, to um, jump your bones any moment. And I had mentioned to my uncle Chris, you know, I got to get a condom for my wallet. Trying to be cool around my uncle, you know. And he was like, "Boy, you get a condom, put it in your wallet, and walk around with it. You end up with a whole bunch of youngins." Yeah, you're not supposed to. Keep <laughs> yeah, them in I was your like, wallets. "What the hell?" He was like, "Hell no, you're gonna rub a hole yeah. in that thing." Yeah. And I was like, shit, man. Thank God for my Uncle Chris. You yeah. know, he taught me a valuable Did lesson he get that day. Did you any? No. Okay. I thought maybe yeah, he would. He didn't have time for, for my bullshit. bullshit at that point. He was just like, dude. Yeah. That doesn't even That's work. That's stupid. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah. That was the that was the one time in my life where as like a guy, another guy was like, hell Yeah. <laughs> I'm the fucking man now. So, so there is this belief that um, if you own it, like, is it like this perception? Like, if you have it, then like m maybe it's more, it was more likelihood. That it it's was more like happen. it was more like, hey, you know, if the guy's putting on the jersey, he must be in the game. You know. Oh my god, our cats, cats are, are literally you. like wrestling like crazy. Um, maybe we should just follow them around with the camera. Pussy on pussy action. Uh, one bald, one hairy. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> alright, yeah. Um, but, God, here they go. Uh, you can probably see them in the background. If I'm they've there. probably been running around through the background. But yeah, you, you thought the guy had the jersey, he was in the game, you know. 
uh, he must have been out there getting it. And we were just like, son. Just give you some sort of like false confidence. Yeah, well, or it's just really cute. not confidence, but more so like, well, fuck, man. Like, I must suck. I don't have a condom or even a use for one. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm afraid to give a Valentine's Day card. And this guy's <laughs> got, <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, but I can or see. Or you could have, give out Valentine's Day cards with condoms in them. And, and then get, maybe and get suspended again. Damn it! Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Do not do that. Um, but yeah, I love these Markiplier animations. In fact, I wish that there was a whole bunch more of them because they're very, very funny. Um, but yeah, what an interesting point in time and a hilarious scenario from a very funny dude. Wax says. Just always wear the condom. Just no never take wasted. it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like you know? always prepared. It's like um, it's like the uh, vid mask for your song. You know, if you look at it that way. I mean, it protects you from viruses. Hey, feline AIDS is airborne. You never know. I'm just saying. But right. anyway, great video. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we will see you in see the next. You guys. One. Bye.